Hello everyone, my name is Tabby. Welcome back to my channel where today I'm doing an original tag called the Pumpkin Painting Book Tag. This tag was created by the lovely Capri Nicole at Bookaboo92. I will leave a link to her channel down below. She is super cool, she's amazing, and she deserves way more subscribers than she has. So go check her out. She created this tag and I'm so excited because it involves painting and I love being artsy fartsy. So basically you have to answer these questions like a normal tag, but you also gotta paint a pumpkin. So I got this mini pumpkin. It's so cute. It's real. It's real pumpkin. Um, I don't have a big one just because I don't have like, I live in an apartment building. So there's like no point of putting it out on the balcony because I'm like high up. So who's going to see it? You know what I mean? I got my paint brushes and I'm sitting off to the side so that I can put pictures up on my books just because I know I'm going to get paint on my hands so I don't want to be touching up my books and ruining them so yeah. I just filmed questions one to six and I wasn't even recording so I was painting my pumpkin. It's a good thing I didn't finish because that would have been aco taco. Anyways, let's do this again shall we? Number one, ghost. Name a character that died that you wish you could bring back to life, but don't spoil the book. No names and no spoilers. So the person that I chose was from Crooked Kingdom. And if you've read Crooked Kingdom, you know who I'm talking about. I'm still mourning this character's loss. And I've read this book almost three years ago. And it hurts. It hurts me. Even to like look at the spine of the book on my shelf makes me want to cry like honestly and I don't cry during books but for that one I was choked up guys I was choked up number two jack-o-lantern name a character that was two-faced or a character that put on a disguise slash mask to cover up who they really were I'm gonna say the character is from ah paint the character I chose is from a torch against the night and it was a huge plot twist that I did not see coming. If you've read A Torch Against the Night, you know what I'm talking about. Let me know if you saw that coming. I feel like maybe a lot of people did and I'm just like clueless to the whole thing. But I did not see that coming. And I was so shocked. I was so betrayed. I felt that. I felt what Laia was feeling. I, didn't, I did not see it coming. I was so shocked, but also it was really good. Like the whole reveal of it, the whole like revelation of what was happening that whole time was just amazing. It was so good. Oh my god, it was really good. You guys should read that series, An Ember in the Ashes. Torch Against the Night is book two and it has a huge plot twist and there's a jack-o'-lantern character in there. Damn. I need water. I didn't get water. Like, am I stupid? It's a good thing I have like 40 paintbrushes, so I don't even have to wash it. I'll just get another paintbrush. Let's get it started now. Let's get it started in here. Number three, Cemetery. Name a character in a book you thought was unnecessary or you could have done without them in the book. And I was going to say Peter from Divergent, but I'm actually going to go with, what's his face? Um, Caleb instead, because honestly, like, I can't even think one thing that he did that we needed him for. He was so useless. He was always in the way. Ugh, I just, I didn't like him. I really didn't like him at all. Um... Yeah, he could go. He really could go. I can't even think of anything that he added to the story. If you read the Divergent series, let me know if I'm just forgetting some kind of major plot point that we needed him for. But yeah, I he was useless to me. So unnecessary. He could go. I made the white paint a little too dark with the brown. But it's okay because we're going to add more white paint. Please don't fall because I have white sheets. Number four, spooky. Name a character that creeped you out or a book that creeped you out. I mentioned this book before and it is Darkness Falls and it was uh, 
based off of the movie Darkest Falls and it was so scary. It was about this tooth fairy who haunts this town because years and years and years ago she was burned to death by these people who thought she murdered um, their kids. So she was burned to death and now she has like these, I'm getting paint all over my hands. So now she haunts the town and she only comes out in the dark. She will not step into the light because I guess she doesn't like people looking at her face. And she also, if you look at her, she'll kill you because, again, she doesn't like people looking at her face because she's all burned up, I I'm guessing that's why. Um, she is so scary. Whenever a, ch a kid loses their teeth, she'll come after them. And if you look at her, like I said, she'll kill you and you'll know that she's coming because there's like a clicking sound that happens. And it was so scary. Honestly, you guys, I was so scared while reading that book. Number five, costume. If you could wear a costume based off of any character, who would it be? And why? I'm gonna say the invisibility cloak from the Harry Potter series because invisibility. Um, but if I had to choose like a full thing, like a whole costume, I would say um, the armor that Darrow from Red Rising uses is really cool. You have the sling blade that wraps around his arm, his uh, his his thing. What's the thing called? The thing. You know the thing. It's on the cover of of. The third book, the thing, oh my god, I can't even remember what it's called, but you know, his weapon, you know, his signature weapon, his thing. This is the thing that I'm, it looks like this, and it's a thing, you know, it's a blade, and you, you know, the thing. Not only does he have really cool weapons, but it's all like advanced technology as well, and his whole armor is just really cool, so I think it'd be cool to have um, something like that. Number six, candy. Name a book or series that you can't get enough of and why. I'm gonna say Red Rising again because it is really good. It's very action-packed and so full of just everything. Everything that I love. Violence, great characters, badassery all around. There's like that whole fantastical element, like fantasy element that reminds me of Game of Thrones and all the reasons why I love Game of Thrones, but it's also sci-fi and it's such a great mix of literally everything that I love. It's just perfect. But I'm also currently really loving Throne of Glass and I also love um, her other series, which is the Court of Thrones and Roses series. And I'm really excited for the next book that she has to release. I'm just waiting for that cover reveal and that title reveal. I'm so excited. So, yeah. Number seven, Glow Stick. Name a character that helped the main character achieve their goal, aka show them the light. And I'm going to choose Bagra from the, Sh the Grisha trilogy, Shadow and Bone. She was her, she was Alina's teacher and she kind of showed her how to access her powers to the full potential and Alina's powers were the manipulation and not manipulation but she produced this really bright light out of her, her um hands so she basically literally showed her how to use her light powers number eight spider web name a plot twist that it was executed perfectly and i already mentioned a torch against the night that plot twist was crazy i did not see it coming but because i already mentioned that i'm gonna go with golden sun I feel like I've mentioned Red Rising a lot, but Golden Sun is book two in the Red Rising series. And just the whole ending, like that whole last few chapters, so many things were happening and I was just not expecting any of them and I loved it. You guys, you have to read that series. Honestly, I'm telling you, the second book, Golden Sun, is life. It is honestly so good. It's so good. So much is revealed, there's betrayal, there's backstabbing to the core. Like, it's just so good, it's so good. Number nine, Scream. Name a book that you cringed constantly through or a book that made you wanna scream. Okay, so <clears throat> unpopular opinion time, but if you've watched any of my latest videos, then you already know about this. I did not enjoy Strange the Dreamer. It really made me want to scream and rip my hair out because the writing style, although it was really nice, it was a little too nice and it was just, it was too nice and it kept bringing me out of the story and it made me want to scream because the story was actually pretty interesting, but the writing was like, chill, you know what I mean? Like, relax. You don't need to be saying all this, man. You really don't. I'm so curious to know how short that book would be if all of that nonsense writing was taken out. It'd probably be like... 200 something pages, honestly. 
Can you tell what I'm painting yet? Probably not because I'm a horrible artiste. Eh. Number 10, Howl. If you could shapeshift into any creepy animal, which would it be? I'm gonna say a panther, a black panther, and I really don't know why. <laughs> um, in the show True Blood, there was like a season where these were panthers were introduced, and although the characters themselves were like gross, the idea of like turning into panthers was really cool. So uh, yeah, I think I would like to be a were panther. Number 11, which name an evil character that you also kind of liked. Um, the Darkling from Shadow and Bone. Loved him. I also really liked Queen Lavana. She was a really good villain. And, um, yeah. I'm also gonna say Thanos from, I know this is for books, but Thanos from Infinity War. He was a really great villain as well. I really, really liked him. Number 12, Skeleton. Name a book series that isn't what it once was. So the beginning of the series was really good and then it started to die off. I'm gonna say, um, for me personally, I'm gonna say The Moral Instruments. Even though book one and two weren't the best, I just, it's not even that the books themselves and the stories themselves um, got worse and worse. It's just my enjoyment of them kind of decreased over time and it's sad because it was once my favorite book of all time my favorite series of all time like I was a crazy fan I would fight you if you said anything wrong I'm not even joking like we would be fighting but yes I am not really into them right now or ever I just haven't liked them and I'm still gonna finish Queen of Air and Darkness because I started Lady Midnight and I'm halfway through Lord of Shadows I've been halfway through Lord of Shadows for a good year and a half now but anyways, I'm going to finish that trilogy, but I don't know if I'm going to continue on. You know what I mean? I'm just kind of over it, and I want to put that whole thing to bed. So yeah, the Mortal Instruments slash the whole Shadowhunters, including Infernal Devices, like all of them. All of them. And the last question, number 13, is Cauldron. Name three characters whose personalities or character traits you would want to mix together to make one new character. So, first off, I'm going to use Darrow from Red Rising, again, as the mold for this character. And I'm also going to leave Darrow's badassery and just confidence because I love that about Darrow. I'm also going to throw in Rhysand's, um, like, misting powers and just his powers in general, like shape-shifting and his wings. We'll throw in that. And I'm going to throw in Tyrion from Game of Thrones, his wit, because um, Tyrion just makes me laugh at the things he comes up with and says. So yeah, I'm going to use those three characters. There is a fly and it's so big. Ew. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use those three characters because um, I love them. And I think those three traits and characteristics combined would make just the perfect character, in my opinion. And I'm almost done with my pumpkin. Okay, those were all of the questions for the pumpkin painting tag. And I am finished painting my little pumpkin. It is a donut. Yeah, I'm not good at art. I just, I like doing it. Doesn't mean I'm good at it, but it kind of looks like a donut, right? Can you see the blue sparkles, the blue sprinkles, whatever you call that? It's a chocolate donut, vanilla icing, and blue sprinkles. So, there's my painted pumpkin. Those were the questions. And I'm going to list the people that I tag down below and maybe on the screen here. I don't know. Depends on how lazy I am in the editing process. But yeah, if you want to do this tag, definitely do it. I would love to see what you guys come up with when you're painting your pumpkins. This was so fun. I love painting. So thank you so much for creating this tag, Pre Nicole. It's great. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye!